Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you watched my video a little while ago on how I use the Distress Grit Paste with alcohol inks. And today I'm going to be doing something similar. Last time I created some ATCs and today I'm going to be creating some really cool art journal page that I really wanted to do so it would create some really cool designs. I have a little helper here with me which is my daughter who is going to just put the paste onto this so that way we can really see some really cool results. So I'm going to do one page to show you and then you're going to do the other page, okay? No, you're doing you're doing the other side to show you. So you go like this okay okay so i do the whole page the whole, page. The whole, the whole page. page i'm doing the one side to show her and to teach her how to do it but she's going to do the other side okay there we go now you're going to do the other oh, side God, okay so go ahead good job oh sorry okay go in not that rocket science This brush I hate. It's not that good. We press harder. There. Oh. Uh, knew that. So don't leave any bumpy marks. Just you have I don't to. I want people to see my fake nails. We are seeing them. Okay. Yay! Okay. Pro clo close there. Okay. All right. So finish up. Make sure that they're not. Out. You have too much. You see? Grab from here and grab to the other side. Good job. more spread it everywhere and here in the corner I know your nails are there but okay okay so now that we're finishing this side we're gonna heat set it and then show you the next step grab the heat tool and dry it up both yeah what I really like about this technique is using grit paste and any type of texture paste will work because you can really create a really gritty texture and it works perfectly with this technique. What we're going to do next is use a glue gun to create even more texture because I like using store-bought products with things that we have around the home like a glue gun. So she's going to create those lines. You can start from the edge. Yeah, and start creating. Uh, we're creating like really cool yeah, lines. Totally yeah, so like, like, I'll, I'll no, show I you. Know, I know okay, to do. make them. I like press this. Oh, thing. okay, that's good. Yeah. You see? There we go. <laughs> Sometimes they get. Okay, strength. you could do that for now. No, 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 no. No, no I'll do the next batch. You see, you don't even have to go back and forth like this. Just press and make a line going all the crest. Press one line straight. I do can. a straight line. Yes, you can. Okay, let me make one more line and then you can do the next one. Okay, so I'm making another line. You see, look, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm going oh, yeah. across and crossing. Look, I'm going and crossing them. So, okay, now we can put an extra one in there. There we go, good job. Now start from the other side so we don't get only thick ones on one side. So I continue to make lines and that creates that really cool texture with the glue gun. So what I'm going to do is just finish a few more lines and then we're going to get to the next step. So now that I have it all like this, it's actually attached, with, but I will cut those pieces off. We're going to add some alcohol inks to these. What we're going to do is add three colors first. So we're going to add the blue the purple and maybe some green afterwards so we're going to start with the blue and whatever i do on this side you're going to do on this other side okay oh i get what you're doing you're making it like run down the glue mm -hmm. go ahead oh whatever mess up you mess up if you mess up you mess up there we go press can press the harder you press the more stuff will come out cool huh yeah okay i cut runs down i know is that now, the point yeah that is the point oh so 
just to That's show right. that anybody can do it, even somebody who I is a kid. I have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah, she's never done art before. I have. A little bit. Okay, now add more on the other side. Yeah. So we're just showing you. Great job. Yeah, I want some more on this. All right, good. Oh now God, we're going to... It's so pretty. I know, it's cool, huh? Now we're I going to it. do purple. So, you put it on top. But we don't put it everywhere, right? But at some places that are empty, like here. Right, we kind of want to kind of stagger it. Okay. One sec, let me finish that part. And you're going to do your side now. Can you hold it up for me? Mm hmm. Like, I don't, like, should I do it like here? Yeah, anywhere. Start wherever there's see a white space. There we go. Press. You're, yeah, you're going to press harder. Otherwise, very little of this coming out. Okay, that's good. Let me add a little bit more here because you are you're just have to let it and don't even worry about it. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're being... So you're, like, you're, no fear. Like, this is what we have to teach people, not to have fear. But do it higher up so you can cover those white spots, right? And... Oh, oh, oops, sorry. Yeah, that's it. okay. I just want to not waste this and just like you see the center there. Okay, so now let's see what other color can we Close use? This. I'm this thinking like, now we don't have I to. I think we should use the the pink one. Okay, so go ahead, put some I think pink. Actually look nice. Okay, so guys, put some pink. We We're not nice. gonna lift it up anymore. Is it We're going metallic? to go like this. We're gonna. No, this is not the metallic ones. This is, we're gonna add gold after. Okay, go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. And so another trick to do that is that you can lighten a color by adding some alcoholine solution and that will lighten the color as well so look how pretty you're right that pink looks amazing with it so can you do this look i'm going to just add like a line like a thin line like this and did it do it on this side too a thin line to kind of no it's good just don't this time you're like almost like painting it Good, exactly like that. Now go there. Can I add alcohol line? You want to lighten in it? Okay, so you can add a little bit of alcohol solution. Yeah, it's going to make it solution. look pretty. I want to do it. Mm -hmm. It just lightens it a little bit. There can we I go. put it like on a green too? Yeah. Maybe on a purple? Yeah, that one will lighten that one as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some more blue here. I think there's some more blue necess necessary here. Wait. So what looks pretty is that... Um, the grit of the texture shows between these, which are really, really nice. And it's really hard to see, but it's just so, so pretty when you look at it in person. Now I'm thinking we could also add, you want to add a little bit of green? Why don't you wow, add a little bit of green? green make the world go round. So the green is going to turn a little bit brownish too when it's mixed with the other colors. So we have to oh, be very... Oh, it all here. Yeah. Like maybe over here so yeah just put it in all the areas where you see a little bit of white because that's where we want the green to go you can touch it with your yes exactly you can touch okay so now we're going to add something yeah, really cool. little, yeah, that, okay yeah. so it did get a little bit brownish here as you can see but that's okay as well because we're going to add the best part Guess what we're going to add? Gold. Yeah, how did you know that? You told me. Okay, we're going to add gold. Gold. Now, with the gold, you have to... Okay, but let me show you first, because what happens is that the gold kind of... Um, actually, the gold looks better when, you see, like you have little yeah. drops of it. Okay. Very, very few drops. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Put, try to put it where there's white, because that's where we're missing stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm, there's like no white. It's okay, just put it anywhere. Good. Wherever you think, add in different areas. Not only white, it doesn't have to be only in the white areas, but also in other places. I think it would look good on the glue. Yeah, go, put it on the glue. Yeah, that looks cool. Wow, that looks cool. Oh, did you see that one? I know, I know, it spreads it really nicely. So what it does is that it separates from the alcohol ink and makes it look really really amazing so now what i want to do i'm going to add this side and you're going to do the other side 
but I want to show your neat technique and I want to show you mm -hmm. how cool it is. I've been showing this quite a few times. I'm going to take the blue afterwards and I'm when you add it with the gold, it separates it and looks really, 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 oops, really, really, really mm -hmm. cool. So it Can I try? Needs, yeah. So you're gonna try now Can this you lift side. It up for me? So I'm gonna lift it up and you're gonna first put it all over the edge. It's okay. It doesn't I'm matter if it's in my way. Good. And now you're gonna take the blue oh, and you're gonna add it in between the gold. Yeah, keep on going. All all over. So that way it separates it from the gold. The more you add, the more it will separate. There we go. It kind of repels it, which is really, really nice. Yeah, it's so now, nice. I like it. So now I'm just gonna add a few more pieces in some areas. I think you're right. I think by like covering the the glue a little bit. Can I do it? Yeah. It it kind of adds more to it. So go and put it on the glue only, glue areas here, right here. And I'll here. try not to get like, no it doesn't matter because it looks really cool and uh, maybe yeah those ones that white one it looks really that no color yeah well it just makes it look prettier maybe here and we should add some more at the top mm -hmm. here it's missing no that's good that has enough and let's put oh, up yeah, here too. some here and maybe on this one so it evens it out perfect oh yeah that one too Oh, wait, wait, here. Okay, we don't want to cover all of it. Oh, and this one here. Now also. we should put a bit more other colors. Right, so what I'm thinking is... What are the rest of the colors? No, we're not going to mix... We can only stick with these colors. I'll tell you why. Because if you mix too many colors, it's going to become a brown soup. And you're not going to like it anymore. <laughs> so you're not going to be happy with the results. Yeah. So right now, the results are stunning. Beautiful. And now all we have to do is, what do we have to do with these? We I have, have no to, clue. Well, we have to finish it with some kind of embellishment or something, and you get to choose which one you want to put. What? It can be. To add the focal point, um, I had a few ideas in mind. I thought maybe I could use some chipboard pieces from the Dina Wakely uh, collection. And then I found this old necklace and it matched perfectly. And I thought maybe oh, that would look cute. It looks, it matches nicely with the gold. But then I remembered that I actually made some embellishments a few weeks ago. And when I did the shrink prank video and I did them with alcohol inks and I shrunk them and they looked so nice here. So I thought, you know what? I could glue these on and I might as well use them for something because they're just sitting there on my desk. I made one also with my light bulb, the one that, um, the light bulb that I use, that I have as a stamp. So that would be cute, but I'm not going to put this one. I'm just going to put the three butterflies and just glue them to the background. Okay, there we go. And then the only thing I can do is just add a little sentiment to it. So I have the word inspiration, but I might use some gel to glue it. Otherwise they will come off. So inspiration. And that's it. That's the art journal for today with the same technique I do, did in my artist trading cards. And I just thought to see if it would work nicely in an art journal. So all I have to do now is pop up these pages into my art journal my disc bound art journal and then i'm done so thank you so much for joining me today and i hope you enjoyed this if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media i hope you enjoy all the video content that is coming up and stay tuned for some more have an amazing day everyone bye